Don't do this at home. Well guys, for New Year's I don't really have quite as themed of a cigar as I had for Christmas, but the Last Call by AJ Fernandez was originally blended to be kind of a nightcap. The last cigar you smoke in a night. The Last Call Maduro is what I'm going to use to cap off this year. So in that sense, it is themed towards it. Speaking of AJ Fernandez, I noticed he snagged the number two spot for Cigar Journal with the Enclave Broadleaf, so congratulations to him for that. Uh, also, the Ramon Alanez by AJ Fernandez showed up in the uh, Cigar Aficionado list, but at number 25. Now, I predicted that it was going to be in that list, <clears throat> but I thought it was going to be a little bit higher up. I was thinking maybe 8 or 9, but for whatever reason, the cigars that I really like don't always end up at the top of the list, but they didn't ask me, so oh well. But this video is about the last call. The first thing that greets us is a Pennsylvania Broadleaf Maduro wrapper. Binder and filler both from Nicaragua. The size I've got in my hand is a Rothschild, 3.5 by 50. 4.5 to $5 price range. A very toothy wrapper, an unfinished foot. Almost invisible seams, can't see a single one of them, and the cap is laid on in the same way, except for that upper cap, you can kind of see the edge on it. Incredible appearance overall, and the band is just icing on the cake. Absolutely reeking of French royalty. Mm. A fresh, cedary tobacco aroma off of this. That just smells heavenly. Okay, let's get this thing cut. A very tight draw, likely because of that unfinished foot, it just kind of covers uh, the end of the tobacco there at the bottom, or sorry, at the foot, excuse me. Um, the flavor off the pre-light draw is spice and cedar, and uh, <clears throat> the, the cut was extremely clean. It just has a ton of tobacco packed into the head of this cigar, so it just made for an extremely excellent cut. Very impressive. Let's go ahead and toast up this unfinished foot. Let's get lit. Well, guys, pretty complex so far. The raw is still a little on the tight side, but not too tight for me. It's hard to tell you what there is going on with the blend because every draw has had a little bit of a different flavor to it. I've gotten some chocolate, some oak, and also a decent amount of mineral flavor as well. Uh, the body seems to be a, towards the medium side of the medium full range, at least right now. But again, it's kind of hard to tell when you've got an unfinished foot there, you've got all that wrapper tobacco that you're smoking, and I feel like it's probably going to change it up here in a little while. So uh, I'll leave you with that, and I'll check in in just, just a few minutes. Ten minutes or so in. <clears throat> I gotta tell you this draw is a little on the tight side. I expect it to loosen up a little bit. It hasn't. I even took a little bit of a second cut trying to get a little bit uh, a little bit more air through there and uh, it just hasn't happened so uh, a little on the tight side so I do have something bad to say. Sorry. Um, but other than that, nothing. Uh, I got an excellent burn going on right now. Not perfect but still really good. The ash so far looks nice and tight. I was right, there is quite a lot of mineral flavor here, especially, uh, well, at least in this first third. Aside from that, there is a nice cocoa on the retrohale, and mostly just those two flavors. Uh, the, the body remains to be kind of towards the medium center of, uh, of the range, and, um, 
The smoke output is kind of medium. It's not really a really super smoky cigar. So uh, kind of some of that could also be that tight draw, hard to say. But uh, yeah, pretty medium for the smoke output. And definitely uh, full in the flavor range. Other than that, really enjoyable. We'll check in again. Well guys, normally I'd be about to set this thing down, but uh, with a cigar this short, I'm going to try and hold on as long as I can. I was expecting to have some great transition to tell you about, but really the flavor is just about the same. It's a very heavily mineral flavored cigar. Nothing wrong with that. Um, touch of earth and cocoa besides that. Nothing else to talk about except that draw is still tight and the body finally ramped up a little bit. We're closer to a full body at this point. Nice thick velvety smoke coming out of it. I'm going to smoke it for at least a couple more minutes here unless it starts to heat up to be unbearable. Talk to you soon. Alright, I actually held on to that for a little while longer than I expected. I think the final third was actually my favorite part. Okay, let's talk about that one. Okay. Started off pretty complex, lots of different flavors in every puff. But overall, heavy mineral flavor with just a touch of like an oaky or maybe a cedar, just kind of a wood flavor there at the beginning. And a little bit of cocoa <clears throat> mixed in with that finish. Second, third, really had no change. It was really kind of disappointing. I was expecting there to be some kind of transition, but there wasn't really. Not to say it didn't still have great flavor. But overall, I was just kind of expecting a little bit more complexity based on how it was at first. The final third, again, I think was my favorite part of the cigar. Typically not the case. Typically the final third isn't really where I get the most out of my cigars, but this one really, it really was. And I think a lot of that had to do with, um, I went ahead and tried to pair it with some chocolate because I thought, well, shoot, this is supposed to be an after dinner cigar kind of a thing, like maybe dessert paired really well. Uh, we have a tradition in my house, um, for Christmas, you get uh, the those chocolate oranges. I don't even know the brand. They come in. It's a, it's literally a, a chocolate orange, and it comes out in the slices. Some of you guys might be familiar with those. Well, anyways, I had a couple slices of that with that final third of the cigar, along with some coffee. I got some black rifle coffee for uh, Christmas, so uh, that paired really well together, and it kind of brought out a nice sweet earth and a little bit of cedar in that final third that was just lacking elsewhere. I think it was because of that pairing that it really brought those flavors out of there, really, <clears throat> really enjoyable. Overall, it is a medium to full cigar, um, just a touch of strength, even in that short stick. And um, construction-wise, again, it, it had a really tight draw at first, even through like the first half, it seemed like it had a really tight draw. Finally loosened up in that final third, might be part of why I enjoyed it more in the final third as well. But other than that, had a great burn, great ash, uh, held on for at least half the stick, probably a little further. And yeah, overall, I'd say that's a great way to end the year. Why not? Um, that's all I got to say about it, guys. Uh, Cigar Page has these things for sale if you guys are interested. They have some five packs. I think it's only like 23 bucks for five of them if you want to check them out. That link to the, uh, the link is in the description below. If you want to go ahead and see uh, see about getting some of those. Happy New Year and happy smoking.